Hey everybody, how you doing? I thought I would make a, another chain pull. This time I'm using a silver metallic as my base. And then I just decided to use a black metallic, which is called Onyx. Okay? So we'll get started here. And I did already cover my canva canvas. And I'll just show you real quickly the chain. And there goes my air conditioner, but it's hot. So I'll go turn it off though real quick. There we go. Okay, so that's my rope chain. You can use any type of a necklace chain. Ceiling fan chain, any type you desire. And then I use my other one, which is stiff all the time, though. It doesn't curl like it used to, like the rope. That's why I like the rope chains, because they don't stiffen up. But And they're more, but this one seems to be stiffening, you know. Anyway, that's what I'm using. And I already covered my canvas with the silver metallic. It is, the canvas has, has two parts flow trowel and one part paint and water so that it will level properly. <clears throat> and the flow is nice with flow trowel. So that's what I use to cover my canvas is Floetrol paint and the water, acrylic paint. So I'm dipping my chain in there and yeah, my rag and I wet my fingers in between. Now I'm going down my chain a second time. Okay. Very lightly going down my chain. Try to get that centered. Always wipe your fingers in between. And then try to get your chain right down the center. That's hard to see with the camera in the way. Okay, I gotta move this out of the way. And hopefully that won't sell up a lot. But I like the gray and black. My daughter actually, she loves gray and black. And I asked her, I said, well, what colors should I do, you know, with this silver canvas? And she said, I'm going to do the black. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to make a set out of it. So stay tuned for the end of this video um, will be the 5 by 7s for the sides, okay? So as soon as I'm done with this one, there will be, well, there's going to be Probably a part two. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Cause see, I videotaped this already once. And. Oh. My camera was turned vertically. <laughs> which I cannot believe so basically this is my second one for the set this is my first chain pull set I don't need this one I'll use this one
So I'm going down my chain twice very lightly. Oh man, how am I going to reach that? I'm going to have to pull this forward. How am I going to get under the camera? Hmm. I put my fingers here to help keep it guided in, in line. Okay, so enough with the big chain. Put that in the water. I like them simple and petite. I tried that bouquet one time. This is pretty. The silver and black. Now I'm using my smaller chain and I'm going down it twice very lightly with my fingers the same way. And I can't believe my light just went out. No way. I had it charged at least 20%. All right, so no, that's not going to do no good. Well, we'll just have to do a close up when we're done. Hmm. Let me adjust the camera so it's closer. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, now the can't light works. What's going on? <sighs> That's so weird. <laughs> I have not had good luck with these cameras today. Yeah, this is my first set. See how that chain kinked? That was really weird how that light went out. Don't know why. Hmm. Anyway. There it goes again. So I'm going to use the other end of it. See how that one's going to treat. Um... 
the chain twice. You don't have to curl much either. Because these are just petite little weeds or flowers growing. Not weeds, but. So I thought I wasn't going to do a chain pull for a while, but I came across, well, my metallic, and I covered my canvas, and I was thinking, what, what can I do, you know, to uh, See, I wonder if I could loop that twice. What happens? <laughs> that might be a mistake. And you know, if you make a mistake, you could recover it with that silver. No, it worked out good. Just cut, touch it up with your silver. That's the good part about the flow trawl. It levels very nicely. go last one and then I'll show you the set I know my hands over it but this is not easy with the camera right over you there we go oh, that looks like it got a bubble Two bubbles there. There, popped it. Okay. That's all I'm going to do on these. So I'm going to move the camera over to the other two so you can see the set. I'll first do a close up for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll tell you what I'll do is, hmm, yeah, I'm not even going to move the camera. I'm going to move this. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped it. I'll lay that right here. Drying. So there's some white showing. It looks different, a little different coloring because they're already dried. Canvas is showing through just a tab. But once it completely dries, it will all blend again. I like this set. There it is. 
Let me take the phone down. Hold on. Okay. So I think that's pretty as a set. Real nice. So I'll do a close up of the one we just did. It's not focusing that well. And it's drying, so you're going to see discoloration, because see the ends here are dry, and the middle is still wet, see that? So that's what you're going to see, the different color right there, that's because it's drying, that's all. Pretty much the same, except this one's got three in the middle between it. Those are definitely wildflowers, petite and Fragile little stems. Anyway, yeah, it's hard to see the small ones because they're drying. But that's it. I like this set. Maybe one day I'll make a set out of the black and white. But I really dig this gray and or silver and black. Black and white. Did I say black and white? Yeah. This one's pretty. That one's so pretty. Fluffy little things. Got some cells in there, a little celled up a little bit. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this again. I like this. Very pretty. So, thanks for watching. And I will put together these parts because there's going to be part one part two possibly or I could squeeze it all together but that'll be a long video so I'll probably do this one as part one and then <laughs> the the ones that are on the end will be part two but my light went out we'll see how I do it it'll probably be one and two okay thanks a lot guys have a good one. Give it a try. Make sure you don't have your canvas thick. Because these little tiny lines will not show up. They'll bury in the paint. Alright? So y'all take care and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.